by Mitt Romney in the crucial swing state of Ohio. Who will do more for the auto industry? Not Barack Obama. Fact checkers confirm his attacks on Mitt Romney are false. The truth? Mitt Romney has a plan to help the auto industry. He's supported by Lee Iacocca and the Detroit News. Obama took GM and Chrysler into bankruptcy and sold Chrysler to Italians who are going to build Jeeps in China. Mitt Romney will fight for every American job. I'm Mitt Romney and I approve this message. Mitt Romney actually did say, let Detroit go bankrupt. He did oppose the auto bailout and said that if we did it, you could kiss the automotive industry goodbye. That didn't really work out. And when the Detroit, free, the Detroit News did say they endorsed Mr. Romney, they did like him, they said it was despite him screwing up on the auto industry so badly. But it's the point where they say Barack Obama sold Chrysler to Italians who are now going to build Jeeps in China. That part of the ad appears to be a spinoff of this line that Mitt Romney unveiled while campaigning in Ohio last week. I saw a story today that one of the great manufacturers in this state, Jeep, now owned by the Italians, is thinking of moving all production to China. I will fight for every good job in America. I'm going to fight to make sure trade is fair, and if it's fair, America will win. That line about Jeep moving American jobs to China, moving all production to China, that, that is not true. Chrysler is not moving its production to China. That is not at all true. That is not true. That is a lie. Chrysler itself had to come out publicly and say, hey, what Mitt Romney just said there? That is not true. And the Romney campaign's response to their candidate going out there and saying something blatantly false was not to apologize for it. It was not to clarify what he said and try to say it was a misstatement or something. But their response was to put out an ad saying it again, making Ohio voters think that Jeep is going to move its Ohio manufacturing jobs to China, when the company itself says it has absolutely no plans to do that. They're expanding here. They're not moving their jobs to China. It's not happening. That is the closing argument being made by the Romney campaign right now. This thing that we are saying isn't at all true, but it makes for a great ad, so why not? And that, frankly, closes what has been a remarkable loop in this campaign. The last ad, based on a claim that Jeep is moving its American production to China, a claim that is totally, blatantly not true. That is their last ad. Do you remember what their first ad was? Remember what their first ad that Mitt Romney ran against in this election against President Obama? Remember the first one? That's what the first Mitt Romney anti-Obama ad said this year. They're quoting the president as saying, if we keep talking about the economy, we're going to lose. Here's what President Obama actually said. Senator McCain's campaign actually said, and I quote, if we keep talking about the economy, we're going to lose. He was quoting somebody else to criticize the quote. The Romney campaign intentionally took President Obama totally out of context. Totally out of context, so that ad was a complete lie. And their response when they got called out on it was not to pull it down or cut a new version of it. Their response was to say they meant to do that. Mr. Romney himself personally defended that ad. It's still on their website now. And so now, with seven days left until the election, it probably should not come as a surprise that the Romney campaign's closing argument is an ad that even the usually unoffendable Beltway press is calling a flat-out lie. It is not clear at this point how much campaigning is left before Election Day, given this storm that is battering the East Coast right now. Both candidates have officially canceled all of their events for tomorrow. But if now it's done, if that's it, if this is essentially the end of this election, then the Romney campaign is giving Ohio voters, and voters everywhere else for that matter, a really clear view of what exactly they have been willing to do this whole campaign in order to try to win this election. Truth be damned.